me and her got along right away when we met and it's, it's really weird because we didn't get a chance to meet when we first met mm -hmm. but i friended her after our competition and a bunch of other people and then one day when i was into youtube i asked did anyone be, want to be on my show she's the only one out of my hundreds of friends who answered i didn't know that yeah, oh my the god only one <laughs> and we got along right away yeah and so that was even there's... before because you were already on your spiritual journey then I wasn't, and I also had no idea that he she was. was. Even. I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then it was like it was only a year and a half ago, I think, that we realized that we were both on this journey. Oh yeah, I started seeing her <laughs> posts, and I was like, I was like, oh, she's 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 there now. She's, yeah. I have another friend. She's on okay. it too. Like when you start to see the triple digits and yeah. you know stuff like that. From what I understand, especially 11, 11, but when you start to see triple digits or double digits, you're starting to awaken mm -hmm. spiritually. It's so. like your first set of like sign synchronicities, that kind of thing. And when I'm not feeling good, I stop seeing triple and double digits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would agree mm -hmm. with that. And I'll tell you guys what too. So like before we knew about each other's like spiritual side, right? Mm -hmm. um, we hadn't talked in six plus months or whatever. And I had a very rough day um, <laughs> in my physical life and spiritually. Mm -hmm. And Tyrone happened to text me, I think that day. And he was like, hey, like let's hop on a call. And it was funny because like in the state I was in, like I was a blubbering oh, yeah, mess. Yeah, and okay. I'm nah, like, I didn't know you were I'm impressed. like, <laughs> yeah, he didn't know. Um, and I was just like, man, like, I don't, I don't know if I can even have a conversation with a person today. Like I was just that low feeling, but I was like, all right, whatever. Like, you know, give him a call. And he had said like, he felt a drawing towards like calling me that day. And so that was when it like opened yeah. the floodgates. Yeah. Of, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah, yeah you're, you know, when you're connected, you're connected. And that's why you'll think about that friend you haven't seen in six months. And then you see them at the corner store the next day. Mm -hmm. Or they call. And it's like, there is some type of connection. Yeah. It's not a coincidence. Right. There's not a coincidence. <laughs> and I feel like sometimes our like logical mind or like our ego will try to convince us that like, oh yeah, that is just a coincidence. Right. But it's not. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, okay, I was telling you about the book I've been reading. Mm -hmm. So yesterday, I took a picture of a little like paragraph of it. I sent mm -hmm. it to my best friend. I don't know if I've ever sent her a paragraph from the book I'm reading and I read every day and I randomly sent it to her we start talking back and forth and I'm like dude you should read this book I think you'd really mm -hmm. like it I she's like yeah yeah what is it so I send her a picture of the book she goes I kid you not I screenshotted a picture of this book today like <laughs> see and it's weird because when you are into this you expect it but you still get surprised, <laughs> yeah, pleasantly exactly. surprised by stuff. Every time. <laughs> yeah, I came over, I came over, we're talking in the kitchen, and as we're talking, 11 11, yeah. right behind and her we were on like, the stove oh and microwave. I was like, see, we were supposed to do this today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like, to someone, you know, who's not tapped into this side of them, like, it's okay. I mean, like, people that are tapped in spiritually, I don't think are any better than people that aren't. Um, it's just a different way of life and it's a different way of thinking yeah. and exploration. Um, and it is tough because like, I don't really have anyone in my life like directly who, who knows it either. Yeah. Who like yeah. everyone thinks I'm we're crazy. far and few between, <laughs> Yeah, but I will tell you this, you, you do feel, you know, for you, uh, nerds and geeks out there like myself, mm -hmm. you do feel more like a Jedi, like you're in control <laughs> of your life. Yeah. You do feel that way knowing that, okay, my life, is now dictated upon what I truly dictated upon what I do and what I say mm -hmm. and how I think and how I feel. No one else has control over where I go, you know? So yeah. it's, it's very empowering. You know, I, I never stray to the whole, I am a God and I am, yeah. no, no, it's not, like that. That. no it's not like that. It's, <laughs> you know, it's, <laughs> you know, um, That's a little too far. Yeah, you, it's, it's, it really is the basic, a, a, a thought of you reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. If you are sowing good things and good thoughts, you're going to reap those good things. Yeah. But if not, you know the person that's always the pity party. 
because right. they think that way. Well, and that's the thing I talk about so much on my channel is like awareness and like having that emotional intelligence. Like you can't change anything right. unless you unless you can take the accountability for your actions, your words, your thoughts, and redirecting them. And it's not something that you can just do overnight either. Like it is a consistent practice all the time. Like you guys think I'm sitting here thinking positively all the time? It's, hard. <laughs> it's, it's just, hard. I'm not. <laughs> and accountability is like garlic to a vampire mm -hmm. to many people. People love to play the, 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 the victim and it's not my fault and it's their fault and look the 95 to 99 percent of your life is all of your doing and yeah. your decisions you know yes you know certain world leaders can affect by certain decisions that they make but you can move you can do this there's so many things you can do to control your life mm -hmm. um and you don't realize it until you really feel that yes i am accountable but that if you're not in that mindset you won't see it yeah and the thing is too is it can make people feel i think really shitty when they think like they if they look at like the negative things in their life they're like wow mm, like there's no there's this. no way i created this and then if mm. they start looking at it like they did they think of it as a negative thing where it's actually so incredibly empowering right. because it gives you the power to change everything Turn around. Right. If you did it, you can undo it, yeah, correct? Yeah, exactly. Right then. It's an empowering thing to take that accountability. It's not yeah. this like detrimental, like negative thing because... Keep meeting those guys that keep cheating on you? It's you. Mm -hmm. You're somehow attracting guys like this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look guys, I went through it. <laughs> I came to realize the other day that I've never had a healthy relationship ever. <laughs> Um, and I can sit here and I've talked about this in other videos and blame well this person did this to me and this person did this and this person did that But guess who stuck around for all of it? Me yeah. <laughs> And it's like people are allowed to make mistakes. I, yeah, I get that. No one's you know, perfect. people mess up But it's it's when it's a pattern mm -hmm. then it's like, okay, you have to start thinking what am I doing wrong? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Yeah, don't ignore red flags I'm sure she's probably said that <laughs> in her videos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ignore them. Yeah. And you know what I've done in the past? I actually, I store them. I'm like, okay, let's pull out the filing cabinet. I'm going to continue to date you, but I'm, I know about that now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I get hurt, it's my fault, but at least I learned because I, I took mm -hmm. note. I like you know that. I, mean? I like that. Yeah. It's like a yeah. forgive but not forget yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, and I think it also like comes down to like how connected are you to yourself? A lot, and something else I talk a lot about is people that are afraid to be alone, mm -hmm. and they're afraid to sit with their thoughts, and they're they always have to have distractions, whether it's you know something to do or electronics or other people around or whatever. To me, like that is a, a huge sign that someone is not um, connected with themselves. Yeah. And they're almost afraid to connect with themselves. Yeah. I was just talking to her about Sigma males. I'm like half Sigma, half Alpha. And Sigmas love their private time. Because we get to roll. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, take two. Continuing. Right. Yep. Okay. So talking about Sigma and Alpha. Yeah, we love our alone time. We love to reflect and think. And I've... What is that? <laughs> was that dog? <laughs> oh, you okay? It's a bird. Oh, it's a bird, okay. We have oh. a little uh, bird feeder out there. So oh, a lot okay. of, we, do, we have a bird book and binoculars. And oh, we literally sit there sometimes. <laughs> we're like, they're, they're bird the nerds. Books. Yeah, we look at, we, we've hit that age. We like open the bird book, we're like, oh, that's what that is. That's an Alaskan parakeet. <laughs> Look, honey. <laughs> Did you feed the birds today? Did you take your medicine? How about that? This is um, funny. Wait, wait. I forgot I was going to say, though. The Sigma. The Sigma. Yeah. Like, I'm... I like to take kind of like that, the guys out there, kind of like that Bruce Lee type of approach to how he wanted to be just limitless in his abilities to enhance himself as a martial artist. Mm -hmm. I want to be like that with my health and my longevity. Mm. So I only seek to master myself. I don't like to distract myself from my problems. I like to get them fixed. I love that. 
Mm -hmm. that's, that's a problem actually in relationships. You ever see the meme where it's like, there's a guy turned over in bed and she's sitting there looking, you know, the woman's looking at him and she's like, he's probably thinking about that girl he cheated with. Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. How the hell am I gonna, like he's thinking he's like, of a problem, wow, that... he's trying to fix a problem yeah. in his life. That's why you see guys staring off a lot. We're just trying to fix stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a very like masculine trait for sure but you have to be able to know those traits within yourself and your partner you know to be able to figure that out so i kind of want to move into the next thing that i wanted to talk to you about which i think is gonna uh -oh. be fun we haven't talked about this on my channel mm -hmm.